Uh, I don't... The thing is, I'm not gonna do anything that, like, makes him look bad. I'm just gonna play in his arena. And while this is going on, uh, I'm gonna make the stream a little bit smaller. Oh! Great. Uh, Thanks, Milk Steak. You just ruined it. Oh, man. Way to go, brother. This is why we can't have nice things. People like Milk Steak just come along and become Jay's a watch, dude. Oh, can you even see it? He said, enjoy hell, homo. When people say someone can't unmolest you, it's uh, a common insult or like a phrase they use to imply that LGBTQ people were all molested and that's why they're LGBTQ, whatever they may identify as. He says he felt like a Chad for telling him. It just keeps going on. He's still in there. He, the guy is talking about me in the other chat saying he feels like a Giga Chad or something. Yo, 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 this is going to make it into a highlight pretty soon. So for anybody who made it to this far into the video, drop it down in the comment section and let me know what old Jayzo did wrong here today. Let me know if it's score one for Jayzo or another point on the board for the Smashers somehow. Just let me know. All right, let's check on that stream. What's that guy's name, not comp? I guess I'll try to find him through the thingamajig. Uh, I don't... The thing is, I'm not gonna do anything that, like, makes him look bad. I'm just gonna play in his arena. That's the thing about when I do arena raids. I'm not really doing anything bad. I literally just play the game and see their reactions. He's probably gonna make himself look stupid. Again, it's just having to do with him playing the video game and being salty about it. Where's the audio? Hang on, hang on. Oh, there's the audio. Yeah, just go to the title. Don't worry, it's in the title. All right, what's his uh, code? I gotta get it. Oh, it's in the title. Okay, there we go. I don't know what's up with that, man. All right, I'm gonna pop out and so you guys can do this. I gotta go to the Oh too, no, man. no way he's not playing. And I had no drink. I oh, make the drink, but... come on. Dude, that's it. fucking whack. Yeah, I don't, again, I mean, I said it before. I don't like talk in their chat or anything. All I do is play the game and wait for their reactions, knowing that they're gonna be bitching because they're probably fucking sweats. Like maybe they won't. Maybe they'll be like, ah, oh, this me gunner is amazing. Maybe oh, I love me gunner. Maybe they will. I'm not sure. But my past experiences lead me to believe that's not the case. I don't. I don't see them being like good people. And the thing about like this guy having somebody have died. I mean, look, I don't know anything about that. But that's that has nothing to do with me playing in their video game arena. I mean, it's not my business. What am I supposed to not play in this guy's arena because he's he somebody in his life died? Like that's sad, yes, but he's still streaming, he's still playing video games. And if you never told me that, then I wouldn't have known that. Oh, we got people popping in here. All right, all right, all right. That's all I need to see. Some more people. Thank y'all for joining. All right, all right, all right. So I got the ice now. I got ice. And while this is going on. Uh, I'm gonna make the stream a little bit smaller just so you guys can see. Check my DM. Dude, Milksteak, did you really just Jayza watch me? <laughs> Milksteak is in this guy's chat saying something in this guy's DMs. <laughs> the fuck is that? Milksteak, what the fuck is your problem, man? Milksteak is Jayza watch. And if you're, yo, I guarantee. Oh, my bad. Give me a second. Yo, if Milksteak, yo, if you're saying some shit like, oh, don't react negatively, somebody's recording you, then you're doing the exact opposite of how... So you say check DM? You're doing the exact opposite of how, like, arena raids are supposed to go. Oh. Great. Uh. Now this whole arena's ruined and I'm not gonna play in here. Thanks, Milksteak. You just ruined it. Oh, man. Way to go, brother. This is why we can't have nice things, guys. 
This is why we can't have nice things. People like Milksteak just come along and become Jay's I watch, dude. Didn't you actually? I think Milksteak, yo, you actually asked me one time, what is Jay's I watch? Again, Jay's I watch is a community of people exactly like you. A group of people who are watching my stream to, and warning other streamers when I do arena raids. That's that's the definition of Jayza Watch. And now you're part of them. Terrific, man. I do. Non exactly. I don't know why like people don't understand in my videos. I don't know. I've I've actually went out of my way, like you said, to make videos to show that like there are cool Smash streamers. No, like, I honestly don't even think that Milksteak has seen my arena raids. So I don't even think he knows, like, what I was about to do. I was all ready to do an arena raid, and now I clearly can't. Because we have a Jayza Watch member here. Fuck. Yo, the guy. Yo, yo, yo. The <laughs> Look at this. So let me tell you the story about this guy right here. Oh, can you even see it? He said, enjoy hell, homo. He said, banning me can't unmolest you. <laughs> oh my God. So just for context, this is the guy who I just banned from my chat because he Jayzo watched me while simultaneously trying to be, like pretend to be my friend in my discord he was coming to my streams for like a week or not a week because i haven't been, like streaming every day but and then just now well listen i probably don't need to tell the story of what just happened because i'll just make a video out of it but like this is more proof that you can't trust smashers everything that i'm always talking about with smashers it always gets worse i don't understand and yes also this is the guy who also i was live the other day with that sonic game and he like vc'd me i don't get it and then yeah homophobic slurs like what the f this is like this is nuts i i don't know i don't have the energy for this yo wait a minute did he say enjoy hell homo because he thinks that uh gays and maybe trans people are going to hell I'm, I'm legitimately confused as to what he got mad about now. All I said when he told me that his favorite streamer or something was like going through a hard time, I said, dude, that's none of my business. So it's like, it doesn't have any effect on what I'm about to do with his video game arena. That's all I said. Once again, let me reiterate that if this guy had never told me that his, his uh, streamer friend had like, you know, his somebody in his life passed, I wouldn't have known that. Nothing that doesn't change anything about what I was going to do. All I was going to do was play in the video, uh, play in the arena. So let me ask this, in this situation, what did I even do wrong here? <laughs> yeah, that's nobody's business. Why did this person, honestly, why did this random person who just mods for the streamer tell me that the streamer had somebody in his life pass away? Is it this person's place? Is it this person's place to be telling me or anyone else the business of the streamer especially stream the streamer doesn't even know i exist you know what i mean so in what world did i actually do anything wrong here i decide i'm gonna do an arena raid this guy's in my chat he goes oh don't raid his arena because his somebody in his life just passed away i said uh listen that's always sad but that has nothing to do with the fact that i'm going to play the video game in his arena you know it's not my business all i'm i, I just said that's all i said I said, listen, man, that's sad, but that's like, I don't like, it's not my business. I don't know why that matters. I'm going to play the video game in his arena. I'm sorry for repeating myself, but I have to keep saying it because it's, I have to like nail this into the heads of the people who are going to watch this, right? So there, we're at this point. And then I go into the arena. I open the streamers tab. The person in my chat is a mod for the streamer. And then all of a sudden the streamer goes, oh, you said check DMs, hold up. And then he like reads his DMs or something on his phone and he goes, oh, wow. And then I go, dude, that's not cool. I just said, every time I do an arena raid, I tell everyone in my chat, the rule is don't go into their chat. Don't tell them that they're being watched or recorded or anything because that defeats the purpose. I always say, never go into their chat to harass them. Don't harass them. Don't talk about the me gunner gameplay. Don't hype me up. Don't don't even be in there and pretend to not know who I am. Just don't 
don't be in there to like even pretend just s silently watch my stream or theirs and that's the point of the arena raid to see what the streamer is going to do and say the reaction to my me gunner gameplay just playing the game that's it that's all i do arena raids for so all right so where were we so then, yeah, the, the streamer's like, oh, that's interesting. Ruins the arena raid. So I, I ban him, the guy, the double agent or whatever, from my chat. Because that's not cool. I, he broke my rule. The cherry on top of all of this is what I just showed you a little while ago. The DM that he just sent me. He was in my Discord, too. All the while, by the way, let me let me be clear. This person, this double agent guy, Mac Beef on Discord, he was in my Discord for like a week. He comes to my Discord... And of course I have all all of like the things he said because he was in there for a week but he was all he was like oh dude we played back in Smash 4 I was this person from Smash 4 I let him in like I put aside disbelief that he was going to turn out to be like a dirty smasher uh and I actually said all right man I haven't seen you in a while hope you're doing well hope things are good with you I let him in my discord he hung out in there for a little while he joked around with us he said all sorts of stuff like in agreement with the stuff I was saying uh, he responded to memes. He posted some other stuff. So he's uh, he's pretending, to, at least pr I think now, pretending to be a normal person in my Discord for like a week or so. He says something in my Discord, which I didn't even read because it's like, if he's banned from my chat in Twitch, he's going to be banned from my Discord. That's just how it is. If you're not in my community, you're not in my community anywhere. So I ban him from my Discord. Then he DMs me what I just showed you guys a little while ago. I'll show it again. Mac Beef 8767. He's, he gets banned from my Discord and just goes, Enjoy hell, homo. Banning me can't unmolest you. There's so much to unpack here. And this is the same guy who the other day wanted me to look at his, um, when I was doing the Sonic game. He had me go out of my way to look at his review on Steam. Do you guys remember when I was playing that game? But I'm in the middle, or at least starting to play that Sonic is Dead game, mystery game. And before I really even get a chance to start, this guy comes into my chat and he was like, Yo, dude, guess what? And I was like, what? Like, I thought he had some real exciting news. He's like, yo, I'm, I'm on like one of the top reviews for this game. The game I was playing, the murder game. If I only have, what's it called? A, like an hour or less. You got one of the top reviews on Steam of this game? Hey, Milksteak. <laughs> is that right? Raw egg. All right, let's look it up. <laughs> let's look it up. If this is something you're proud of, Mac Beef, I have some very <laughs> shocking news for you. Your <laughs> your priorities are not in order, man. <laughs> Listen, dude. You, you, if you're going around trying to tell streamers that you quote unquote like, oh, dude, check out my review on Steam. I, I'm like near the top of all the reviews, bro. You <laughs> Listen, you, you need to get your shit together. Get your shit together. Because not really, though. Get, because, dude, this is not. <laughs> I, I have no words. I just have no words. I'm sorry, guys. This is crazy. I've just been informed, and I kind of knew this, I guess, but I didn't really think about it too much, that um, a, a genuine homophobic slur is is uh, when people say things like that. When people say someone can't unmolest you, it's uh, a common insult or like a phrase they use to imply that LGBTQ people were all molested, and that's why they're LGBTQ, whatever they may identify as. So I didn't really put that together just until just now. I, I kind of, I guess I just remembered that. So that was genuine homophobia. That wasn't like Brooklyn slang or anything. Oh my God. And I guess he thinks I'm going to hell too, which, wait a minute, wait a minute. How is, <laughs> does he even know what I identify as? Is he not, I've never really, I don't think I've said it in a very long time. I don't think he knows. This is the truth. This person said I'm, going to hell because i was molested because he thinks i'm lgbtq does he even know if i am he doesn't know i haven't talked about it on my stream in a very long time this is the guy who only came back to my streams a week ago so this guy doesn't even know like if i'm if i'm gay am i bi am i straight i i make no secret of the fact that i'm a femboy of of, of a certain kind i say of a certain kind because like eh all right, well, there are femboys that are straight. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be a good video. Just more proof about Smashers. Just every day, every Smash stream, more proof comes out that Smashers are horrible people. Every time, without fail.
So that insult is a very common insult to say to LGBTQ people that they were molested or something like that and that they're going to hell. I guess that's a religious thing? Well, I'm not gonna make any comment on that. That's a sure way to get myself quick, quick canceled to talk about religion here. Needless to say, let me just say this. I don't think any more highly of them knowing that information. Nope. I know how to DI that, Adam. That was like kind of worth it right there. I don't even care that I was like a million percent ahead. How many Smashers are gonna come to my stream and pretend that they like my content and everything just to find out that they're a typical Smasher who just dislikes me for basically no reason? I know I said this, I asked this a few times already, but what exactly did I do in this situation? Is it because I said that I'm gonna play in their arena even though maybe somebody in their life has passed? I did say that it was sad, and it is. It's not, that's never good news. But I'll say it again, what does that have to do with me playing the video game with him? He's streaming video games uh, for all his viewers to join in. Why is it bad if I just join and play? That's, it's just, is it because me? Is it because it's me, Gunner? I'm still not seeing the connection to the fact that like, maybe he got some bad news recently, but. Is anybody else understanding this? Yo, 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 this is gonna make it into a highlight pretty soon. So for anybody who made it to this far into the video, drop it down in the comment section and let me know what old Jayzo did wrong here today. Let me know if it's score one for Jayzo or another point on the board for the Smashers somehow. Just let me know. That throw? <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for the very end there to do that too. I wanted him to be very anxious. It makes me wonder too, you know when he called me during the other stream when I was playing the murder game, the murder mystery game? What would have he, what would have he said to me? Cause he just VC'd me while I was live without like, and by the way, that was a completely un, un uh, consensual call there. What the f- Huh? Bro, who is this? Uh, dude, please. Don't, uh, don't do this. I don't, I don't do this during, like, call- Like, dude. There's almost nothing I dislike- No offense, but I- There's almost nothing I dislike more than an unsolicited call. I get them all the time. What is it about Smashers and doing things without permission? But yeah, like a completely unsolicited voice call with that guy. I wonder what he would have said to me. Anybody think this guy with a three-stock lead is going to win this? Well, that's a little unfortunate. This was a good stream, guys. This was a really good stream. I wasn't even supposed to be on this for this long. I was supposed to play um, Mario Party soon. I have a message for um, Ultra Vision. Like, I got something to say to Ultra Vision, all right? I want him to see what happened on my stream here, and I want him to be kind of honest with himself. Like, I want I want his honest opinion about like what what it is that I did wrong, that his mod was in the right. I want to know what he actually thinks. That you have a mod who's actually like that. And I want to know, and I guess what I'm also kind of curious about is if that guy Ultravision defends him, because how do you defend that? Yeah, don't mod smashers is right. Oh, oh, uh, what was I calling him? I, I think I said his name wrong. Ultra Vada? All right, d actually, sincere apologies because I, I just wasn't paying attention to what I was saying. I, I was, but I apologize for the name um, mix up. Vada, because I just saw it again. Aren't you a little, like, I don't know. The question is not very difficult. Again, I'm just very tired. Pretty much what non-comp said. Do you not have a problem with, like, your mod who I'm assuming you don't know in real life? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's your real-life friend. I don't know. But in any case, either way, do you want that guy going around telling people that you're uh, mentally suffering because something terrible happened in your life? Which is just very sad, by the way. I I didn't say anything bad about that. I, I, in fact, said, yes, that's very sad. That's always sad. So I uh, I still don't understand what, what kind of the problem was. Like, is that okay to you? Giving away information like that? Even if somehow you're like, yeah, that's fine. Like, I told him he can tell people, which I don't believe will is, is ever the case. There's no way. But even still, 
I'll say it once more. I, all I was going to do was play your play in your arena. I was just gonna play the video game. Just like everybody else. This guy's getting tossed around like a rag doll. I see a million like <laughs> I see a million years in the future in this game. I know what's gonna like happen. I know what's gonna work, what's not gonna work. Here's a quick tip for all you me gunners. If that happens, what you should know is that what <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just got a screenshot from a buddy of mine. That milk steak guy is still talking about me. It's still happening. It's still going on in that stream. He says he felt like a Chad for telling him. He I'm not making this up. The it just keeps going on. He's still in there. He. I'm gonna, it's gonna be here. Okay, guys, I don't know. I'm gonna point somewhere and it's gonna be where I'm pointing. The guy is talking about me in the other chat saying he feels like a giga chat or something because he, he told on me, he told, he, oh, he tattletailed on me and he feels like a chad. He's just saying that. This is incredible. That guy had a lot of points. That guy was post 12.9. Here's what I expect to hear as a response. Something like, Jizo, you deserve it because you are going to be toxic in the game. I'm, again, I'm just really curious how that, how that streamer is going to spin it. Like, if he's going to defend his mod. Even though there's now proof that he's like a homophobe and shit.